Investigators carefully examined the video, looking for who committed this atrocity. There are some disturbing clues, and on closer examination of both the long speech in English and the gruesome execution, some fresh puzzles. First, there is a clear edit in the video, which fades to black between the English-accented talker and the man who appears to carry out the beheading. And the man on the left, who has the English accent, appears of a different stature to the man on the right, who apparently carries out the killing. There is another problem with continuity. The knife wielded by the English speaker is different visibly from the knife left by the body of the deceased. There's definitely a change of actor. The change in the physique of the individual standing, standing next to the deceased. There are noticeable, there are subtle, but there are also noticeable changes in their build, their physical appearance. The dimensions of the knife, the style of the knife that is used, and when trying to determine whether the British-accented man is also the executioner, it helps to examine where his pistol is holstered. That is for use by his right hand, but the executioner from the video appears left-handed. It's unclear why this happened. The person who uh, was essentially the mouthpiece may not have been willing to carry through with the deed, or may not have been able to. This could present a problem for investigators as the speaker's voice, and few doubt the voice heard is that of the man on the video, was one of their biggest clues. The speaker is using a variety of English known as multicultural London English, and that's a kind of melting pot accent that's emerged in recent years, particularly in deprived multi-ethnic areas of inner London. The video contains a wealth of other data, we're told, like the measurements of a face, even beneath the balaclava, that could help investigators sift through databases of passport photos. But it is possible that the man whose voice and Britishness chilled many Westerners was not the one to carry out the killing.